what's up guys today we'll be showing you how to make your own rgb led strips um, i bought five meters from china and the reason why is because it's a lot cheaper because about 30 centimeters of led strip in the netherlands costs about 30 euros and this uh, costs four euros for me to get five meters of rgb led strips now this is even cheaper rgb strip and the reason why is because as you can see here uh, wait let me Take a bit of the, yeah, they are like blocks and they've got three mini LEDs in them which are like red, green and blue so they can be any color, uh, for every single individual LED can be any color. This one however, if you take a look, there's a lot of LEDs, but as you can see it says blue, green, red, blue, green, red, all the way, so they can only be an individual color Together they can make uh, one color, but if you see the LEDs, um, you, you will see you will see the amount of blue, the amount of red, and the amount of green. So that's not very nice. Pull it to the same side, and you can even see it already. It's already going off. You can see they can become any color. Difference with this one. Oh wait, let me keep the plug in so you can see it better. Maybe any color. Um, let me grab this thing and um, as you can see every LED is either is one color, always the same color, only the brightness can be different. So the total effect of it is the same, but this is a lot more beautiful of course. So, how do you make your own ones then? You've got 5 meters, you don't need 5 meters in your PC. That's a bit much. So, first of all, take this out, of course. Um, be careful not to lose pins like this. And that is why I got a little RGB connector strip like this, powering cable. It's the same. And a little connection piece. Right here, as you can see. So, yeah, uh, I noticed that on the video you couldn't see it really well, so I'm gonna switch to this position. <laughs> so, we're gonna do it one more time today. <laughs> Take a couple, whatever you want. Taking about a long strip here, now I'll take a little shorter, maybe this, for a nice PC case. The length, or no, maybe one shorter. Yeah, I think that will do. Um, Get your scissors, cut on the line. Oh, that's spectacular because you've got these like copper thingies here with 12 volt GRB. Then we take our snappy thingy. The short side of the snappy thingy goes onto the strip. So open it up. Um, I will show in picture what type of clips it has to how you connect it. So. Place it over the spikes, like you've got spikes here. Place the copper parts over them. Oh, that's shit. Moved my hand there, that was the problem. Let me quickly. You can uh, reopen them by the way, it's just I'm too lazy for the video to do that. So, I'm just grabbing another one. Place them over it, hold it. And place, push down. But when I push it down fully, wait, let me get some pliers. I'm lazy man. So that's why I use pliers. You can use your hands, but you hear a little click. The wire is in, or I mean the, the strip, the LED strip. So on the other side, you want to be real careful because it says GRB and you've got the 12 volt on top. Um, let me get a wire. Yeah, get a wire. There's an arrow on it, and the arrow indicates the 12 volt part, so that's the black one. And you've got green, red, blue, or GRB. Open this one up, same like last time. Put the cables through it, like not the entire cable, just until the metal part. Um, 
if you, you can even put the cable through it if you want. You gotta push really, really hard and it won't always crack properly. So what I do is do this. There's like a little in the hand, a little valley in there. And you have to press the, each individual wire in there. But um, with good luck, if this thing works properly, it will do that for me. But sometimes you have to use a screwdriver or something to push it in there. Doesn't fall out, that probably means it has been crushed and it's working. So let me grab a power cable, um, arrow, GRB, arrow, and there we go. As you can see, works perfectly fine. Your own LED strip, 10 times cheaper than buying it off the shelves, and it looks beautiful. So, yeah, some of you will be wondering how do I install those LED strips? Now for my motherboard, not all motherboards have this, but my motherboard has some pins on it. Wait, let me try to zoom in. So my motherboard has some pins for it, which say GLED1. So what I have done is basically put the cable behind the side of the PC. As much as possible. As you can see, you can barely see the cable now. It's all nice and dandy. Um, so yeah, what you could have done, on the, first of all, there's like, on the back side of the cable, there's a, let me grab your one. There's this stuff you can take off and there's tape on the back side of it, so you can tape it to the case. But I know I will be switching case uh, relatively soon because I want a bigger case, obviously, um, for better ventilation and so I can fit this one is a closed top, but I want one with an open top so I can have my liquid cooling radi radiator there, up there. So yeah, that's what I want. Another thing you could have done if you don't have like the sticky part on the back side of it, it's on a sticker. You can get clips like this really, really cheaply and you can just stick them to your case. Like so, I mean this is the outside but you don't have to. And you can simply get this through like that. So that's not a problem. You can do that. If you do that, and you plan to do that with a lot of bands, for example, and you just hold them in place by things like this, um, you might want to purchase a Chinese cable that is a little more expensive, which is braided. For example, this is such a braided cable. Um, this was a couple, I think this was three euros as well. And that's because this one is the RGB. First of all, it doesn't have so much uh, LEDs, as you can see. Only has a couple of them. And this is only red, as you can see on the package, it's only red. But get a braided cable. And you can grab to it strongly. It's not a problem. So yeah, let's turn the PC on to show that it works. Okay, the RGB strip is installed. Um, so yeah, let's turn the PC on. Uh, let's turn the light off first. And there we go. All set up RGB. So yeah, that was literally how to make your PC RGB with less than 10 euros. Uh, all you need is a bit of patience and a bit of tinkering yourself and that's it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.